My name is Janet and I'm from New York and I've been working as a tutor at the School of St. Jude for just over a year. I think when some Westerners come to this country to volunteer and to teach at the School of St. Jude, they think they're going to be taking a vacation from their job at home. But I think actually they find that there is more work and more responsibilities and duties here than they would have at home. There is a lot of paperwork that needs to be filled out due to the Tanzanian curriculum. There are log books, there are lesson plans, and there are comments that have to be written up for every class that you teach. Sometimes it's seven or eight a day, so you, there's quite a bit of paperwork to keep on top of. There's also duties, uh, playground, and um, lunchtime responsibilities, eating with the kids, making sure everyone's always taken care of. Um, there's also duties such as taking minutes at staff meetings, just all types of different things that you have to be involved in outside of the classroom, outside of your teaching responsibility. There are also committees uh, for the school that you serve on. There's a uniform committee, a food committee, environment committee, discipline committee, uh, so that you take an active part in the school, not just in the classroom, but you ha can have input on things that go on outside of the school as well. I think if you want to volunteer at the School of St. Jude, it's a very rewarding experience, but be prepared for a very demanding job. As I said, there's a lot of paperwork and a lot of responsibility involved in teaching here. The kids are great, but <laughs> they're here a lot and often, Monday through Saturday. Uh, you're also away from your family and your friends and you're in a third world country and things are quite a bit different than they are in a Western civilization. Um, I would definitely do your research, try to talk to people who've done this kind of thing or who have lived here in Tanzania, because um, it can be a great experience, just a challenging one as well. In addition to more than 50 local teachers, the school also employs more than 140 local staff, including office staff, cooks, cleaners, builders, carpenters, bus drivers, and many more. The Arusha community has come to rely on the school as a very important source of employment. Tanzania has a really high unemployment problem and so it is important to us that we employ as many local people as possible. It is also important to us that we stretch every dollar as far as it can go. We buy all the wood for our desks and chairs, we make the desks and chairs here at the school and we paint them here at the school. We make all the window frames and doors for all the classrooms. We paint the classrooms by ourselves. All of our staff help to make and improve the school and develop the school. Pretty much everything here at the school is made on the site by local people from this community. By us employing local people and by us saving money, it's a win-win situation. The local community plays an important role in the school. The parents committee was formed to act as the link between the school and the community. St Jude is doing a great deal for this community. It's not like any other NGO because uh, many NGOs come and do things and then leave and then the whole project falls apart. But GEMA is involving the parents in that the parents meet very often, they meet with the teachers and then she has been putting the African teachers into leading roles like the second deputy, the deputies, they work with her so that eventually I think they will be running the school so the project will never fall apart. The parents committee is actually responsible for the other parents. They are chosen from among the parents so that they can involve the others who cannot be there. Since we have parents uh, for 850 students, so the parents committee follow up the other parents when they don't do what they are supposed to do for their ch children. It's educating the other parents, it's telling them why the school is here so that they know what they have got from St. Jude. The school also employs a small number of volunteer staff to cater for the positions that cannot be filled by locals due to the lack of good local training. When we are recruiting 
volunteer staff. We look for people to commit to ideally 12 months. We want qualified and experienced teachers as well as people to work in the office who have experience in IT, in accounts, in marketing, general administration, um, overall people who are extremely hard working and happy to get involved in anything and everything. Living and working in Africa can be extremely challenging at times as can living and working as part of such a small community. It's important that people are hard working, that they're positive, that they're flexible but that they're mentally and physically ready before they come out here. It can be an extremely rewarding experience for someone who is ready but it's important that they're emotionally very strong too. There is a great sense of community at the School of St Jude and staff enjoy being a part of such a positive working environment. Every day, volunteers and local staff all work together to fight poverty through education. Staff regularly play sports and interact with each other after school. The school also encourages and recognizes staff who make an extra effort to make the school a success.